At the beginning of the film, a character named, Henry, makes an appearance. Henry's son is blind, and he himself has married with such a girl, who is younger than him. He is wealthiest man and it may be known, casting a glance at his villa. It is seen in the next scene that, Henry, was displaying his villa to his wife. His big house had multi-rooms which were locked, and biometric was required to enter such rooms. Such program had been created for this, that these all doors will open with the biometric of, Henry. They both pass near a room. Elizabeth, asks, Henry, that, what is in this room? Henry, replies, you are the owner of everything which is in this room. But you will have to give your words to me as you will not come near this room. Nor you will go inside. There are my research equipment inside. Elizabeth, asks on this, I am not allowed to enter any room. Because your biometric is required to unlock each room. Henry, replies on this, I have also set your biometric with mine in the system. Due to this, you can also enter any room now. Next day, Henry, had to leave outside for something. He goes outside that he will return to home after a day. Elizabeth, talks with me that Henry's IQ level is so high and he is a successful man. Why did he marry with an ordinary girl like me? Nate says on this, I have no knowledge about this. Elizabeth, was alone at home at he same night and she was becoming so curious, why should I not enter that forbidden room? And I may check as what is in that room. She goes back on Henry's words and enters the room. She discovers many boxes, entering the room. There were red and green lights in some of those boxes. The box which had green light referred to the heart rate, that box appears before her as she presses its button. Elizabeth, had left shocked, seeing this. There was Elizabeth's duplicate in this box. She was so scared, seeing this. And she leaves the room hurriedly. But her hand's thumb is injured because of running as such. In the next scene, Henry, had returned to home. As he witnesses the confusion of, Elizabeth, then he had assumed that, Elizabeth, had surely visited that room. To check what is there. In spite of knowing this, he does not interrogate, Elizabeth. Henry, is seen, he was moving to the same basement. Elizabeth, chases him, but she was frightened while witnessing the sword in Henry's hand. She observes that, Henry, is in a great rage. He says, I had disallowed you to enter that room. In spite of this, you went. Why did you do so? Elizabeth, was so afraid, hearing this. She begins to seek apology from, Henry, forgive me. I will never re-enter that room. Being aggressive, Henry, assaults, Elizabeth, to kill him. Elizabeth, was running as being afraid from him. She wanted to leave the house. All doors were being unlocked before because of her biometric. But no door was unlocking now. Poor Elizabeth could not go out of the house now. She hides in a room there but, Henry, finds her. And he kills her. Henry, his son and maid bury her dead body. In the next scene, detective comes here who used to make the visits here before. And he always used to ask Henry's wife on his arrival. Detective says, you always reply the same whenever I visit here. Your wife is currently in a state of slumber. Henry, says, the girls of nowadays spend their mostly time in sleeping. Hearing all, detective goes from there. It is shown six weeks later that, Henry, has married with, Elizabeth, again. And he has brought her at home. Then all moments are seen in repetition here. As it was seen at the start how, Henry, had shown, Elizabeth, the whole house. And he forbids him to enter a specific room. Henry's son, Oliver, goes outside with his maid. This, Elizabeth, also enters the same room again like the previous, Elizabeth. She witnesses, going there, there are red lights in all boxes. There is green light in a box placed at the end. There are five boxes in which four have red lights while one has green one. It indicates that four, Elizabeth, have died. One, Elizabeth, who is alive in the box while other, Elizabeth, who is present here. Now this, Elizabeth, also opens that green light box, she becomes so scared, seeing her duplicate. And she falls asleep in her room, running there hurriedly. Henry, wakes her up, coming there. She says, you all had gone while leaving me alone. Henry, replies on this, I had given off day to maid yesterday. She went, taking my son with her. After it, Elizabeth, moves to the lavatory. Henry, follows her and asks, you had promised me, that you will not enter that room. Had you not remembered your promise? Now, Henry, was in full fury so he wanted to suffocate, Elizabeth, using a towel. But, Elizabeth, moves to the kitchen while escaping her somehow. She holds a knife there, so she may save her, showing this knife if, Henry, comes to her. But shrewd, Henry, attacks her from the backside, and he uses chloroform to make, Elizabeth, unconscious. 
But this, Elizabeth, was sharp-witted. She pretends to be unconscious. She fatally injures, Henry, by wielding a knife. But she herself loses her consciousness because of chloroform after killing him. After a while, when she restores her senses, she begins to unlock all the doors while using Henry's fingerprints. But no door is unlocked. She hides the dead body of, Henry, there. And she also burns many things. After this, she dials an emergency contact number, so someone may come to rescue her. After a time, Maid and Henry's son return back to home. Maid estimates this when she witnesses, Elizabeth in sound state. That, Henry, is no more. Seeing this, she becomes so worried. And she suffers heart attack in this affliction. But she dials emergency contact number before losing her consciousness. She is carried to the hospital. Elizabeth, is seen, she observes the unlocked door of the house and thinks to move outside. Meanwhile, Henry's son threatens her, if you step out of this house, police will arrest you because you have murdered, Henry. And I know about this. If you want this, that police may not arrest you then burn the corpse of, Henry. After this, it is seen that, Elizabeth, burns the corpse of, Henry, with the help of his son. Elizabeth, asks Henry's son, who am I? He tells, Henry, created six, Elizabeth, like you. Henry, was genetic scientist. He also tells, you are number five, Elizabeth. And four, Elizabeth, had been died before. Then they witness a car, driving there. Oliver, could not see that car. So he asks, Elizabeth, tell me the color of this car. Elizabeth, tells him the car's color so he informs, he is detective. Now this detective comes to home, he asks Henry's son, Oliver, coming inside, where is, Henry? He replies on this, ask about this from, Elizabeth. Detective says to, Elizabeth, Henry, always told me this whenever I visited his house, that you were sleeping. Elizabeth, says to detective, yes, I had been sleeping before but, Henry, is sleeping at this time. Henry's son kills the detective before his further interrogation. Henry's son asks, Elizabeth, after killing him that, has he died or still alive? Elizabeth, tells him, he is dead. Henry's son says to her that, run away, grabbing money from here. It is seen that, Elizabeth, keeps money in her possession, but Henry's son comes to her, taking a diary. And he asks, Elizabeth, to read this diary, bringing this. Because, Oliver, was blind and he could not read this diary himself. Oliver, goes away, locking her in a room while dodging her. Elizabeth, requests too much to unlock the room, but no one appears to help her. Elizabeth, had the same diary belong to Henry's maid. Elizabeth, begins to read that diary and knows it after reading that, that maid is actually virologist who had been called a time ago for help by, Henry. In fact, Henry's wife suffered from any affliction. Due to this, she died. Henry, wanted to revive his wife so he created six clones, taking her blood cells. But those two clones had also the same disease. So two clones also died. When maid arrived to help, Henry, then only four clones had remained. Then it is seen that, this maid continues to struggle hard for two years while researching, at last, she discovers the remedy to end the disorder of those clones. After this, third, Elizabeth, was brought out of the chamber. But this, Elizabeth, who was Henry's wife could not retain her memory for a long time. In the meantime, she goes to the same room where her clones had been kept. She is confused, seeing her clones and runs out of the house. But detective glimpses him on the way and takes her back to, Henry. And detective had started doubting on, Henry, because of this action. This was the cause that he often used to visit Henry's house. After this, the present scene is shown where, Elizabeth, was locked in a room. Then, Oliver, comes there and, Elizabeth, falls her down while hitting when he opens the room. And she asks him the password of the doors. Then she ties him, and she herself moves out of the house. But, Oliver, had told her the wrong password. But, Elizabeth, did not know this. When she applies the password, moving outside, then the door remains locked. She becomes so aggressive, she again moves to the same room where she had tied, Oliver. But, Oliver, was not there. She holds a knife in her hand, and she goes to the basement where, Oliver, was feeling the last, Elizabeth, standing there. Elizabeth, asks him, coming here, what are you doing here? He tells, I am attempting to maintain this Elizabeth's survival, and I need help of yours for this. Hearing this, Elizabeth, goes to that clone. Then, Elizabeth, gets the advantage of this and he makes, Elizabeth, unconscious. He takes her into a room and chains her feet. In the next scene, the same, Elizabeth is seen who is reading that maid's diary further. 
It is revealed in the story that third, Elizabeth, also met her end. Because the retaining power of her cells was ending, then it is seen that, Henry, and Maid were struggling together this, that they may stabilize her cells. Then the story moves to the present scene again where, Oliver, comes to, Elizabeth, again. And he asks, is there written something about me in this diary? Elizabeth, tells on this, I did not read it till now. Oliver, tells, Elizabeth, he despises, Henry, too much. Because it was, Henry, who blinded him. Elizabeth, reads the diary further, where she comes to know that, Henry, had created the young clone of his wife. He was so aged, but he also created his young clone later. In fact, Oliver, is a young clone of, Henry. Elizabeth, was telling it to, Oliver, he becomes so frightened, knowing this. Because he used to hate, Henry, even he had no knowledge about this, that he himself is the young clone of, Henry. Now, Elizabeth, encourages, Oliver, when he comes to, Elizabeth, then he again falls him down and asks the password of the house's doors. At this time, Oliver, tells the correct code of the house's doors. Then the sixth clone of, Elizabeth, comes there, who had been awakened by, Oliver. Now fifth, Elizabeth, wanted to escape from here, because sixth, Elizabeth, wanted to kill her. Now fifth, Elizabeth, who knows the whole reality. She wanted to tell the story to sixth, Elizabeth. How have they been used? But sixth clone of, Elizabeth, does not value fifth Elizabeth's words. And she does not believe in her at all. Oliver, is going to go near sixth, Elizabeth. Then fifth, Elizabeth, attacks him. And she places him before sixth clone of, Elizabeth. But sixth, Elizabeth, fires the gun, and this gunshot targets fifth. Elizabeth, while passing through, Oliver. Oliver, dies because of receiving gunshot. But fifth, Elizabeth, was wounded. Sixth, Elizabeth, goes to, Oliver. Taking the advantage of this, fifth clone of, Elizabeth, sets the code on house's door. She was going to leave the house. But it is observed at the same time, that fifth one, Elizabeth, attacks sixth, Elizabeth. She had fired the gun at her. But fifth, Elizabeth, leaves the world after saying it to sixth. Elizabeth, read the diary of Maid at any cost. Now sixth, Elizabeth, does the same and she comes to know after reading the whole diary. Oliver, who was all right. It was the cause because he was the clone of, Henry. And, Henry, did not suffer any disease. And he wanted to kill all Elizabeth's clones for this cause, because his real wife used to agree with him in every matter. When he takes the promise from them that you have to stop going to that room. They still went. Henry, wanted to kill all of them because of these actions. In the end of the movie, it is seen that Maid is in this house. And number six, Elizabeth, is moving away the house. And the movie completes on this scene.